course in the field of nursing. I was born on May 12, 1820 in Florence, Italy, which is the city I was named after, with a family of four. My sister Parthenope and I were tutored by our father in many different languages. When I was about eight years old, I heard a call from God that he was calling me to his service. So I then... So then I talked to my parents about tutoring me science because I believe God's call meant something. But my parents refused and said that all I should care about was parties and fantasies. So every morning I woke up really early and did one lesson of science by myself. I then started I then started visiting the sick and dying and thought about what it would be like to be one of those people and what it would be like to help heal the sick and dying. I then remembered when I heard the call from God and thought maybe this is what he meant, is I have to help heal the sick and dying. So I then declined the marriage to a guy named Milnes because I believed because I believe God did not want me to have any distractions from him. Then a few years later, I started training for nursing, which was a very long process. When schooling was done and I finally became a nurse, I made hospitals cleaner and brighter places and showed trained nurses how to do that too. I then set an example of compassion and commitment to patient care and hospital administration. Then I helped serve in the Crimean War. Me and my team found out that poor care for wounded soldiers was being delivered by overworked medical staff in the face of official indifferences. Medicines were in short supply and there was no equipment to process food for our patients. I then, I then started to think that soldiers were dying from poor living conditions. This experience influenced my later career. I really pushed to get cleaner living conditions. Therefore, I turned my attention to the design of cleaner, more sanitary hospitals. Then, after war, I got an award from Queen Victoria for my services to the soldiers in the war. I thanked Victoria. Sadly, on August 13, 1920, I died of old age at at 90 in London, England. Thank you.